Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice in Nigeria, Abubakar Malami San, has taken over the case against the Revolution Now protests convener, Omoyele Shawari, from the Department of State Services, DSS. A statement by the Minister's Special Assistant on Media and Public Relations, Dr. Umar Gwandu, confirmed this on Friday. The statement referred to a December 11, 2019 letter sent on behalf of the AGF by the Solicitor General of the Federation, Dayo Apata San, to the Director General of DSS, Yusuf Bichi, directing the security agency to promptly forward all the case files to the AGF office. The letter by Apata, who doubles as the Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Justice, was a response to a September 9, 2019 letter sent to the AGF. The later requested the director to promptly forward all the case files in respect of Omoyele Shoare to the office of the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice. The statement by the media aid of the minister indicated that the move to take over the case from the DSS was to ensure speedy completion of the case. Though there are arguments that the development could be due to the disgraceful handling of the case with the invasion of the Federal High Court in Abuja by the operatives of the security agency in their bid to re-arrest Shoare on December 6. Malami had said on Wednesday that the federal government was investigating the incident. Now, still on that story, the lead counsel and human rights lawyer, Femi Falano San, has asked the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice, Abubakar Malami San, to terminate all legal proceedings against the convener of the Revolution Now movement, convener Omoyele Shoare, and the co-defendant, Olawale Bakare, immediately. Falano, in a statement, insisted that it is not a takeover because the case was filed from the office of the AGF. He explains that the AGF has decided to sack the prosecution team led by Dr. Hassan Lee Van San and hand over to the DPP. Falano stated that the Department of State Services has remained adamant to make a case out of Shoare and currently fishing for pieces of evidence to nail Shoare. Having been advised that Shoare cannot be convicted on the basis of the proof of evidence filed in court, Falano said the DSS has refused to make the statements of the prosecution witnesses available to the defendants as ordered by the trial court. Hence, hearing in the case has been adjourned to February 2020 at the instance of the prosecution.